Hello! Welcome to another episode of Bombshell! Uh, so I have a question for everybody. Do you like fruit-flavored sodas? Or fruit-flavored carbonated drinks? Uh, and if so, what is your favorite flavor? And what is your favorite brand? Like, let's say you like Fanta. What's your favorite fl Fanta? What's your favorite uh, Crush? Do you like, um, Haritos more than any other, you know? Like, I, I personally, I'm a huge fan of Haritos, and I like tamarind and pineapple. Well, that should be it. That's, that's my personal favorite. Oh, fuck. That's my personal favorites. I, you know, I like fruit-flavored stuff. Oh, fuck me. That was a little too easy. Do they become like ghosts or something? What the fuck? <laughs> Get out of here. Wow. That motherfucker went far. Okay, so that's what? All the crystals? Is the head around here? Yeah. Cool, I found the head. Oh, the break on this head looks almost deliberate. The body must be around here somewhere. Yep. I know where it is. And I will go there. Because it's in that same area as the other thing. As the main primary objective, so. Or at least it's nearby that. Get those accelerator boots. Uh, this way. Let's go up here. Oh, that's better. Heal a little. That's the primary objective. Let's go. Oh, uh, I need to go around. Ah! No! No! Fuck. Yeah, I know. Why back here? Son of a bitch. I used the accelerator boots, boots, and now I have to go all the way back here. What a fucking waste of time. Ugh. Yeah, like, I, I think... I'm pretty simple when it comes to crush soda, though. I, I like orange. I don't think pine they have a pineapple crush. And then... Yeah, I just... I really like pineapple. Huh. That person's gone. How do I get up there again? Can I just go up this way? Nope. Oh, I have to go up over here. Found it. Oh. What? Oh. Long way around. Wait. What's that? Hmm. Whatever. Nope. Full on ammo. Get this head thing done, because I'm guessing he'll, like, provide me with ammo or something. And I'm also certain it'll be a bunch of experience. You know what? It'll probably be money and experience. Which is fine, because then, you know, I can have more money to spend on upgrades. And the, uh... The level up would cert like the experience would certainly help if it means a level up. I got you your head. There we go. I may now see you may collect the treasure so set free. There's always more than meets the eye. Oh, ten thousand. 
I don't think I got any experience for it, but I got 10,000. Let's see what I can spend it on. I don't... Cutthroat bullets allow you to shoot through a target and hit another behind them. Yeah, sure. That might make it a little more worthwhile. Too low. Need to be 12. Amiga. Sure, why not? Now she's a little more worth it. Nope, Firestorm's still not worth it. Bowling Bombs, player level too low. Mother Flacker, player level too low. PMS, increases damage. And player level too low. Cool, I guess that's it. Okay. Still showing the question mark even though it's done. That's weird. I also don't care enough to go to the other two statues or anything like that right now. Oh, I think 8-bit wants to be let inside. Give me one sec here. What's your parking at? She's just lying there, barking. Lying in the sun. On the curb. On a, on a step to the house. She's just... Oh, now she's chewing on herself. Come on! What you doing? What you barking at? Huh? Come on! Just gonna sit there. That's fine. She's got a smile on her face, so that's what matters. And I know she's okay, because she's in a little gated area. Cool. They're all slightly different colors. They really didn't want somebody opening this door. You think? What was so special about this? There's a doorway over there. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Anybody else? Because I'm ready to punch. I'm going to punch the next motherfucker that comes my way. Yeah, I, I think I'll I'll enjoy Ion Fury a lot more than this. Because this one just... It's... Not super fun, and it's not challenging. It's just kind of annoying at times. Oh, hey, it's the GDF. And they're not infected. Private Rosa... Jay Miller, Reynolds, Reynolds. What's this? Looks like it'll be a new weapon. What's up? Bombshell. Things have deteriorated since we last spoke. Stuck on an alien world with as little as a box of bullets to your name. It wasn't bound to get any better. Radar has detected a large force heading towards our camp, and they're moving quickly. They're not responding to radio, and it's too large to be GDF. We're preparing for the worst. Will you help us? With me here, they're the ones who are gonna need help. Thanks, Oh, Bonchel. shit. They'll be here any minute. Suit up. How does she get all that custom stuff? Like, does she make it herself? Oh, no. Does she make it herself or what? Excuse 
Excuse me. Too easy. New objective, the search continues. Wow, they actually ran around and attempted stuff. That's nice. Ah! I guess I'm going this way. I have no idea if this is the way I was supposed to go. This is the exit. And continue to search. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get the fuck out. I don't really think I care about anything else, but let's take a look over here. Oh, whoops. Uh, you know what? Let's... Let's go to that weird cave entrance and see what that's about. Because I get the feeling that's how I complete the treasure of the fallen thing. Nope. Can't even go over there. What is that? Can you see that in there? Weird bluish glow. Yeah, fuck it. Let's get out of here. Yeah, that's great. I have one unused skill point, but I can't use it on anything. And what is sword damage? Like, ugh, I cannot wait to get that power sword. Is that soon? Is that now? Like, when? Gimme. Oh, gosh. Oh, now I'm hella zoomed in. Whoops. Yeah. Xeroth's inhabitants are mindlessly attacking whatever's not native to this world. I have no choice but to fight back. They might be just doing their jobs, but I can't let that stop me from doing mine. Yeah, so far, like... I, I'm sure the game runs well if I didn't have a shitty motherboard, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just forego that. Uh, I think if I had to give this game a score out of ten, I'd probably give it a five. And the fetch quest begins in. Because like it's it's still a game that's definitely very 3D realms, you know, and it's not bad per se. It's just it's not great, and it's a reason why 3D realms went back to the FPS after this. Like, and I honestly hope to see more from 3D realms in the future after. Like, because now they have their own original character that nobody owns from them anymore. And they can they can make games like they, they used to, you know, that they liked. You know? Like, they used to make Shadow Warrior, and now Fat Shark makes those. And, by the way, those Shadow Warrior games are fucking awesome. Both of them. And I, I hope for a third one. Uh, what else? They made... Some World War II game. Uh, they made... They made Commander Keen, which was their start, and that was a side-scroller. So I wouldn't be surprised if they went back to that. Like, I can understand them making side-scrollers. I can understand them making first-person shooters. And a top-down seems like something they could potentially do, but you're so limited that it just doesn't seem worth it. Like, you know what you're able to accomplish in a first-person and side-scrolling perspective. So why would you want to try and... and I, I, I get that experimentation can be fun and it can lead to, to brilliant things a lot of the time, right? Like, how Earth Defense Force tried something new with the... Uh, with the class that grapples and stuff. Like, you know, it can sometimes lead to something fantastic. But, you know, or, you know, bef before that, every game was a, a turn-based role-playing game or a rail shooter kind of style of Duck Hunt or it was a side-scroller like Super Mario and then all of a sudden, you know, you get Wolfenstein 3D, you know?
There we go. Like, I get that experimentation can be really good. But I'm just kind of curious why they thought they wanted to go with this. And I'm wondering if it's because they thought it would save money or what. But I think it ended up costing them too much because, you know, they used an engine that wasn't theirs to make a game in a perspective they're not used to making. And trying all of these new features. And I'm wondering if it was like, oh, this is our way to try and keep up with all the stuff that, that people are, are doing with games nowadays. Like, I don't know. And, and how many of the people who, who like, made 3D Realms games that were first-person shooters, how many of them are still around? So, you know, I, I understand for the most part, some of what they, why they made it, and, and some, it reads as if they at the same time, I don't, you know, because I'm sure some of the people who made, like, what was the last game they made before it, right, uh, Rad Rogers, and Prey, Prey 2007, the original Prey, they, they worked with Human Head, creators of Rune, and what else did Human Head make? Rune was really good, and Prey, the original Prey was really good. But the original Prey was also the easiest first-person shooter I've ever played. But it was really fucking fun. Like, I cannot ex like express that enough. It was... So what? It, it reflects my attack back at me or something? Like, what? Is that what happens? Is that why I die? Because I try and shoot them with a railgun and I it reflects back at me? I'm wondering if that's what's happening. Whatever. I have three unused skill points. Let's go with... Let's go with armor again. When the shell hits an obstacle, they will bounce in the opponent's direction like rubber. Yes. Increases Ion Maiden damage and the Railgun damage. I don't really need that too much. So let's check out Bowling Bombs. Ooh. Turns the Bowling Bomb into a multi-bomb with multiple delayed fuse system. Hexagon Mother Flacker. I already did that. Uh, increases ammo by three. That's 13. Uh, let's go with this. Oh, there we go. And the bowling bombs, because why the fuck not? Come on. There it is. That should do it. Oh, I'm supposed to find all statues? I was just kind of wandering that around. Close. I guess it looks like I'm doing a good job. Uh... Okay. What is your uh what is your favorite warm beverage? Do you like tea? If so, what kind? Is it black tea? Is it green tea? Like what uh What is your favorite hot beverage? Hot cocoa. Coffee. What kind of coffee do you like? Dark roast, medium, light. Hey! Well, whatever. Personally, I, I do like coffee, and I like a dark roast. But I do also like hot cocoa, um, and some black tea. 
Though I also, uh, for, for, I also like that cold tea, the Arizona iced tea that's like black and white tea. Bye. What is that? Oh, this is my way back to the... Cool. Fuck you. Bye. Money, money, money. I don't need a bowling bomb. Let's just keep going. Seraph's pass is just oh, as fascinating boy. as its Gears present. of War. Heskel's hardly original in his intentions. That's a game well, I'd rather be playing. Super though. weapon, the Planet Eater. And the Planet Eater is just one of the many things to threaten Zeroth over the centuries, it seems. Oh, all that energy makes this place a looter's paradise. It certainly does. And an army of undead would be a pretty good defense mechanism for a world that's barely invented the wheel. At least, by human standards. <clears throat> like an immune system. A highly indiscriminate immune system. They seem eager to attack anything that isn't them. Oh, now I feel bad. Oh, by the way, the uh, finale, the, the final mission in Gears of War 4, that's how you do, like, an end-level mission. Right. Like, that was fucking awesome. So well done. Just to make you feel so fucking powerful, but still, like, offer a challenge at the same time. It was so well done. And to, like, do something different to change it up. They, they really... They really fucking outdid themselves for that finale. Nope. I'm ignoring you. That motherfucker just jumped right in, didn't they? Where'd the other dude go? Oh, hi. Bye. You don't have a shield. That's what I should do. I should punch them so their shields go away. Another, another statue. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I wasn't paying to the last two, attention to the last two. You wanted to preserve their story. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Well, let's go this way. Money. Hoof pack. How many do I have? Does that say 65? I cannot read that. The resolution's too small. Ugh. I'm so excited to get a new motherboard at some point. I'll probably try and get one during Cyber Monday. Uh, that and a new processor. I wonder how much that'll run me on Cyber Monday. And, uh, what... Where's the best deals you know of for Cyber Monday? Because I know Newegg offers some decent uh, Cyber Monday deals. Uh, I'm sure Fry's Electronics also does. Come on. Take that. Bye. So, if, if you can let me know, so that way I can at least know where to get the best deals... And if you know, like, particular brands of motherboards that would be the best, like, hit me up. Give me that information. I could I could really use it. Because right now I'm just like, oh, I'll get an AMD motherboard and processor. Because the two are compatible with one another. And I can still use my NVIDIA graphics card. And then I'll probably upgrade that next year if possible. You know? And... Oops. Like... You come on. And like just just gradually upgrade it. Because my RAM is fine. My prob my problem right now is my motherboard. And my graphics card will, will help me do well for quite a while. But as long as I can upgrade that graphics card and you know uh, not graphics card, the motherboard, and obviously the processor along the way, because they're pretty much together, you know, 
as soon as you attach them, they're like, alright, there's no breaking us up. <laughs> they're a couple. And... I just think that it would be nice to get those, and then I won't have to have this problem that I'm having with Bombshell. Plus, I'd be able to play newer games for you guys, like Control. Oh, that game looks so fucking good. Oh, what the fuck? Pardon me. Oop, oop, dip, dip, dip. I'm pretty much just going through with the pistol. Like, if you get the railgun, it's kind of like getting, like, wielding the knife in the Turok remake. Which was not particularly good. It just, it wasn't that bad either. But, you know, obviously not as good as the originals. The original two Turok games? So fucking good. Evolution's pretty good, too. Oh. Bye. Ah! Why did I get sent flying off that? That's not cool. Why do that to me, game? Huh? Huh? The fuck happened there? I feel ripped off. Alright. Where are you, son of a bitch? There you are. Bye. Damn. Uh, I unlocked an achievement. Killed yourself with the bowling bomb. Oh, you're gonna pay for that. Well, all right then. That's for Earth. What am I executing? Oh, there you are. What are you shooting at? Wow. So there was an achievement for killing yourself with a bowling bomb. That's. That's interesting. Where am I supposed to be going? Like, I, that's not 100% clear to me. I feel like I'm supposed to be going a particular direction, and it's not... There we go. But what about the uh, other fucking five statues? Hi there. Ow. Well, there's not a statue here. There was just a dude. Big dude that stands no chance against my railgun. That's not even at full power, I believe. Power enhancer that won't last me long enough that it'll make a fucking difference. I'm just going to keep going. I'm gonna hang a right. Ooh, money. And ammo I don't need. Come on, buddy. Another power enhancer. Power there. Oh! This secret, this power they talk about, was so valuable, they seem to think it's worth dying for. Or, I'm dying for. <laughs> Alright. We'll see if we find all the statues in the next episode. Thanks for watching.